Hey guys, what's going on? So we went out with the metal detector again and we found lots of sinkers, nothing new. But that's actually still pretty cool, guys, because the more and more you go through it, you think to yourself, like, how could there still be more? I'm finding lots of trash out there. I'm gonna start picking that up because it's giving me a lot of hits that are wasting time. And I wanna try to be as efficient as I can. And uh, I don't have my pinpointer, so that would help a lot but we have to work with what we have because of the Calder fire, which is totally fine. So the first cool bait that I found was this frog. And that was actually a complete surprise. And uh, then there's these cool jigs here. I got hoochie and some cast masters, a total of 12. Now these things do look rusted up guys, because they are, we're gonna clean them up. We're gonna give them new life. These things can still catch fish. You, what you wanna do is paint them and experiment a little bit. See if you can get these things to look like the bait fish that you have in your lake that these other fish are feeding on and that could produce more fish guys why throw away good tackle that has more life in it you guys can catch tons of fish with this tackle even though it is in the condition it is like i said just fix it up give it new life and uh go ahead and add hooks add split rings add cool little paint effects all that sort of stuff it's it's supposed to be fun guys it's fishing and it's an experience all in itself so if you guys are going to go try to find some tackle it's a great time it's a drought year obviously that's horrible for the whole state and i'm sure other states are going through it but it's great if you're looking and you're metal detecting because what you can do is you have an opportunity to look for in places that you normally wouldn't get to look so if you're going to be looking in the shale there's going to be dirt compacted very heavily over that shale it's going to be pretty difficult so bring something that you can kind of like scrape with so you can find more stuff and that would be a huge thing because the shale actually hooks up on a lot of these lures and that's where a lot of them are going to be found sometimes in reef um and sometimes in the ground guys sinkers it's weird how they just get stuck in that shale so heavily so yeah guys thanks for checking out this video check back soon we're going to be fixing these things up and show you what we've done to make these things have new life and catch more fish and be productive so stay tuned and thanks for watching